so I know. I'm basically got a very urgent message to share it with people. This is about clearing out the anti-extraterrestrial nonsense that's going around. The reason why I am bringing this out and coming out pretty much openly is I feel there isn't much time left um, for the survival of people on this planet in regard to the Fukushima nuclear fallout and it's still spewing radiation. The radiation has actually spread uh, very much so in the northern hemisphere and it's only been one year. Cases of um, the, uh, the Hiroshima mutations, birth defects have already happened in Japan and it's just a matter of time, probably next year or within five years that birth defects will occur on the entire northern hemisphere. Within the southern hemisphere I estimate that perhaps um, in 15 years the entire planet would experience birth defects and then I estimate within 20 years that life on this planet could cease to exist and this planet be a barren planet. This is nothing to joke about. Um, it is something that people need to get together and work on. Ta separate all our differences and all our shit we have between each other. Regardless of origins, ethnic origins, where we come from, whether it's from space or locally on this planet. Um, first of all, what I'm going to say is yeah i'm just i'm i'm just i'm just it's quite a a serious message and this video might be in different parts because I'm going through this systematically um you say where's your evidence on the nuclear uh damage? Well, I am currently watching a, a channel on YouTube, which I'm going to put the video link to the channel, where this person gives a fallout review, um, I think on a weekly or a daily basis, and the radiation is spreading pretty fast. And um, it's come to the point where scientists need to get together and focus on something on how to neutralize the radiation or peop if, if people um, if, 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 there's, if, there, if there's no if they complain about money and all that and the whole system is it's really impossible the system the way the monetary system is um, because people tend to put money over life um, and governments and that have been covering up the whole radiation thing. It's like, um, don't panic, carry on as normal kind of thing. Where in fact, they don't see this, they don't want to share the seriousness of the whole um, issue of the radiation being spread. Which I actually recommend the latest video by rail. A friend of mine um, on the radio movement who's the matriarch on about um, having a meditation for at least one minute uh, per day to project peace um, and acknowledge the extraterrestrials and you can actually think and send th thoughts out telepathically um, or you can actually just use a um, try and make contact if you don't um, agree on, on the existence of t telepathy um, you can actually try and as well just try and do it or just um, if you are skeptic in that just build up your own uh, radio transmit and project the signal out to space so 
first thing I'm going to say is not I'm a bit of a concern about the whole perception of extraterrestrials uh, on this planet. There's so much anti-extraterrestrial bullshit. A lot of it's actually been produced by people because there's so much um, ignorance and misinformation and cover-ups on the subject that people tend to play on this and provide misinformation so they can actually earn a profit or a living from this. But it's got to a point now, there is no time to muck about with it. And it's time to actually focus on the truth. Um, as I mentioned, people always refer to books and what the so-called experts have to write and say. The thing is, people need to learn how to think and not what to think because of what a book says. Books are there for reference and they provide points but they don't explain everything and they don't give you a full picture on everything and often a lot has been assumed and imagined to complete the information when it's actually truly incomplete. Um, the, as I say the universe has many books but a book or a few books or even all the books on this planet cannot explain the entire universe. For example the physics books that with regards to the Higgs boson and all that there's already things coming out that they hesitating whether it is the Higgs boson or not is as they found another particle so you can't follow a model to show reality it's an assumption of reality but it's not the truth of reality um, people ne need to understand that books only scratch the surface of the truth 80% most of the time of what you read is based on assumption an idea and people thinking they've got this uh, certain evidence but they think and assume to try and complete the evidence a lot has been actually hidden and kept secret by governments and all that I feel that it's cut time for the urgency to cut the crap and come up with this because there is not much time and if scientists don't want to work together and people complain about money and funding in order to try and neutralize the radiation threat the only thing people can actually turn to is trying to get help from outer space people would have to realize that extraterrestrial and some people do agree that extraterrestrials create life on this planet and Darwinism just didn't happen that by chance like is expressed evolution I mean evolution didn't happen by chance like according to Darwinism um, and I would actually for those who actually agree that extraterrestrials create life on this planet that it would be actually stupid for an extraterrestrial um, for extraterrestrials to create life through a whole long evolutionary process to create a human to create human people just to feed on or to mine gold or that sort of thing there's, there's not just one group of extraterrestrials involved in this whole terraforming process and all that it was a group of extraterrestrials you people tend to call these a, a specific group of extraterrestrials that look alike as a particular race the thing is you provide this information misinformation based on the fact that you group people on this planet into racial categories as well then I'm going on a bit about my um, Ananya implant first of all I think it is a misunderstanding and a miscommunication between the specific groups of extraterrestrials in regard to this and or perhaps they have actually done it to, to help me develop certain skills 
and also help you to not rely on them completely and also perhaps to change people's perception and outlook on extraterrestrials due to the rise in the anti-extraterrestrial anti hate I've actually decided to um, skip the Raelian meetings in London until the Olympic Games are over of 2012 because of the hype of the false flag of the fake alien invasion of the fake alien invasion which has mentioned by Carol Rose in the last card I certainly do not know if this event will actually happen or not if they'll implement this false flag or not but certainly there's enough evidence to prove that this whole fear and hype is cap is actually used to implement and increase the surveillance of cameras and Big Brother Society of the United Kingdom whether it happens or not this is not good there's so much bullshit towards extraterrestrials it exist in many fields and ideas across the planet first of all religion those people who claim the existence of God call them demons and evil entities and then to the the agnostic and federation of light people including the atheists and around the David Icke reptilian agenda thing there's not enough time to muck about with that now racism and xenophobia towards extraterrestrials just because they look different is all based on the inheritance of the racial classification of ethnic groups on this planet the greys in the media and all over are not the greys that you truly know I have vivid memories they are like I have vivid memories they are very much like little children wearing bias suits as you've seen in the movie Prometheus which give them the alien appearance it is a controversial subject and topic I don't care I'm just sharing information some are basically biological robots which appear like those wearing the biological spacesuits which becomes very difficult to tell the difference between a genuine extraterrestrial being with a consciousness or a biological robot the term abduction is very vague and negative and stupid and often sometimes you have a story or will be a story of people who actually experienced something two people in the same situation but with a different perception the one was positive the other one's negative you can even ask Carol Rosen she was there when it happened and that's what all I have to say at the moment and seriously this has to this has to this whole concept and anti extraterrestrial hatred has to change even the hatred between people on this planet the whole concept of putting money before people has to change there is not enough time to muck about with things and I say this to people particularly those in power or are in mainstream namaste